Hey everybody, it's that time again. I'm in the green machine. We're heading to the woods. This time we're going to be a good one. We're going to teach you how to make char cloth and how to use it. We're going to go do a catch and cook for some rabbit. And i uh, going to show you our new Restless Moon Survival Kit. It's going to be on the market here soon. Stick around, we've got more coming at you. Restless Moon Outdoors and Adventures presents Camping with Dave. Special thanks to our Patreon supporters. Joshua Hammond. Mike Rogers. All right, everybody, uh, we finally got all the materials together to uh, allow Restless Moon Outdoors to start having their own product lines. Uh, the very first one is this survival fire kit. It's basically the same replica of what I carry to the field all the time, and I'm going to go through everything that's in here. There is no reason that you cannot start a fire with this kit. It's small enough and can fit in your pocket, your glove box. It, I don't know exactly how much it weighs, but I will put it up on the screen once I weigh it. I guess I for, forgot to do that. And uh, I'm going to go through what the contents are in it. Uh, this is a tin can. You can use this to make char cloth. Okay, on the inside, everything is individually packaged. We have a three power magnifying glass made out of glass not plastic. You can start endless fires with that as long as you've got sunlight. We have a package of actual cotton char cloth that I make. Um, there's enough here to start at least four fires. There is a small package of fat wood shavings which is enough to start two fires. I have magnesium filings there's enough filings here to start two fires. Dear fly, get off me. I'm going to kill you. But anyways, uh, there is also four stormproof, windproof matches with a striker. Start four fires. And I have enough treated natural cotton is treated with petroleum jelly in here to start two fires and you have a three inch by quarter inch ferroseum rod with scraper now once again I put this together myself I can make the filings myself I make the shavings myself everything is done myself um, that way the quality control is there uh, I don't I do not know how much I'm going to be selling this product for um, right yet and this deer fly that keeps messing around me deer fly yellow fly black fly they're all the same dang fly um, these will be up for sale on our website at restless moon outdoors.com under the gears tab uh, however there's also going to be a link in in the description uh, that will take you to my fire kit. The first 10 people who click on the link to request a fire kit, I will send them a free fire kit. First 10 people. Just to get that out there. And that is our fire kit. It is, like I said, it is a metal tin. Um, I used to make them out of Al Altoids uh, mints cans. Uh, but in order to do that, you have to buy the mints, and mints have got uh, sorbitol in them, uh, which is a laxative. And, uh, well, I can't, just can't have that much. But anyway, so this is the Versus Moon Authentic uh, Survival Fire Kit that I use on a daily basis when I go out to the woods. And a little bit later, we're going to make some char cloth. 
I make my char cloth and myself also, uh, and I will be explaining that in that section of the video. Stick around, we got some more coming at you. All right, I want to remind you all that if you like the gear that you see here, the links are going to be in the description. Uh, if you want to sign up for a free camping trip, please go to our website. Those links are also going to be in the description. I want to remind everybody about uh, the Cindy Joe McGill uh, kidney transplant fundraiser that we're doing. Uh, the link for that is also going to be in the description. Um, once again, uh, we're going to get back at it. All right, we're starting to hear a little bit of thunder in the distance. Uh, actually, not that far of a distance, but it is what it is. I'm going to go ahead and move everything closer and underneath the tarp. I may be converting to using the phone during any storm that we might have. There's a slight chance of rain and thunderstorms when the sea breezes from the east and the sea breeze from the west come together. We're supposed to have storms. That's what creates them. Uh, sometimes they can be violent. Sometimes they're just a normal everyday shower. But until then, I'm going to prepare for rain right now. I can smell it in the air. I know it's close. So we'll get back with you in a few. This is the SkyMet wood burning backpacker stove. It is nine inches by six inches by six inches or nine inches down. It's a big dang stove. Um, you can use it to cook on. This is also large enough to where I can actually use it for heat for a small uh, fire pit. Here in Florida, we often get fire bands, and this is perfectly legal to use. The only thing that you have to worry about is that due to the perforations on the bottom, you want to make sure that the ground is clear before you light your fire, or else you'll burn the ground underneath. So you've got to use a little bit of care. Uh, I've seen some people, they will put down foil uh, underneath it to help protect the ground a little bit further. It also comes with a pocket telescoping uh, micro bellows to soak, soak your fire with. This is what I'm going to use to uh, make my char cloth. I'm going to put my grill grate over the top of this and then I'm going to put my uh, Altoids cans with my uh, cotton material on top of that and let it burn. And that's what I'm going to use to uh, make the char cloth with. We'll get back at you. Okay, we're going to talk about making char cloth. You take your tin and cotton cloth. Me personally, I like to use denim. Old pair of jeans, you just cut it up into little tiny squares. 
you pack it in your tin, close the lid, and you put it on the fire. You can put it in your campfire, you can cook it on your gas stove, but it's got to be burned. Now, a lot of people say you have to vent this thing by poking a small hole in it. I disagree. I've never had to poke a hole in them. Um, any pressure that can, well, pop the lid, will pop the lid, but usually that doesn't happen. But there's usually enough tolerance in the hinges that it allows the gases to escape. So you put your, your denim or cotton cloth or other material too, like punk wood or anything like that, in your tin, close the lid, snap it shut, you put it in the fire, and then you let it cook. And that's how you make charcoal. So we let the tins cook and let them cook and let them cook a little longer. Okay, they're done cooking and this is your end result. Char cloth. Each individual piece you can start a fire with. It takes just the smallest spark, one tiny spark, or even a couple seconds with a magnifying glass in the sun. This turns into an ember. You put the ember in your tinder pile, you blow it into a fire, and you got heat, you got fire for cooking or anything else that you need it for. And that's how you make char cloth. These are going to, these char cloths that I made right now are going to be used in my Restless Moon uh, survival fire kits. Okay, to give you a quick demonstration on how easy it is to start a fire with the char cloth and a magnifying glass, the sun is out, we're going to make a pinpoint. Going to get a little bit of smoke going. And it's already on fire. In fact, I just burned my finger. See the little see the little white dot? You take your ember, you put it in your bird's nest, wrap it up, and blow it into a flame. There you have it. That's how easy it is. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons. If you are interested in the gear used in this video or wish to attend a free camping trip, the links are in the description.
pin out. This is a judo point. This is made for small game. It's got a blunt tip. It's got wire prongs on there. It kills by shock. Kills by shock. There you have it. Number two. All right, me and my bow are going to go for a walk, and I'm not taking the camera with me. Well, I had all but given up on the hunt. Seen a lot of squirrels, but they were up in the trees. I don't like shooting arrows up. Um, I did get a nice treat um, near a cypress stand. I found a huge wild blackberry patch and uh, well I ate quite a few but I did bring some back I'll have those later on and uh, I had already reserved myself to coming back and having an MRE for dinner right there on the path and it, it's a big old jackrabbit well I had cottontail and uh, I took a shot at it. It was probably 30 yards away, and uh, I missed. It didn't move. It stood there, waited for me. So I took my second arrow and uh, I nailed it. So now that I'm back, I'm going to get that rabbit processed and ready. <clears throat> as far as I know, the only seasonings that I have are little hot sauce packets that come in the MREs or maybe even some from Publix deli I don't know but they are hot sauce packs I don't have any salt and pepper I'm gonna cook it on the sky mech and uh, I'm gonna take them there a little wore out I might take a nap as soon as I'm done processing that rabbit and uh, we'll catch y'all in a minute Okay, I took some of uh, my food that I brought with me out of my cloth bag and emptied it out and I put the rabbit inside the Ziploc, but this Ziploc is also leaking. Um, so what I'm probably going to do is empty my cloth bag, cloth food bag, into the top lid of my rucksack. And... Uh, I want to suspend this up off the ground. I don't want it on the ground with the blood and everything coming out. <clears throat> Most of it is uh, it's in good condition. I wasn't able to salvage the pellet. I cut it up pretty good. Um, it's a shame because I like making gloves, uh, glove liners out of the rabbit fur. Same thing with uh, moccasins. When I make my moccasins, I like to line the inside of the moccasins. The rabbit fur. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my cloth bag, even though it's going to get nasty with this thing dripping, I'll just have to wash it when I get back to the house. But I definitely want to have it suspended off the ground. I'll probably suspend it to one of the tie ropes here that are holding the tarp. But that's the, that's the plan for right now. Oh, right here, my blackberries. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. First two pieces of rabbit on the cooker. All right, we're starting to hear a little bit of thunder in the distance. Uh, actually, not that far of a distance, but it is what it is. I'm going to go ahead and move everything closer and underneath the tarp. I may be converting to using the phone during any storm that we might have. There's a slight chance of rain and thunderstorms when the sea breezes from the east and the sea breeze from the west come together supposed to have storms that's what creates them uh, sometimes they can be violent sometimes they're just a normal everyday shower but until then I'm going to prepare for rain right now I can smell it in the air I know it's close so we'll get back with you in a few 
All right, everyone, I'm having the last piece of the rabbit. It was delish. Uh, and, uh, that was good. Got a lot done today. We got camp set up. 10 by 12 gold armor shelter tarp. Got my hammock set up. We went over my uh, the Restless Moon survival fire kit. Showed you all how to make uh, char cloth. Went hunting. Still got my blackberries right here. Um, gonna have those a little bit later. That's late. It's hot. It's still 90 degrees outside, and it's probably oh, it's probably 9:30 p.m. now. I am full. I'm getting full, and uh, we're gonna call it a night. Once again, I want to remind everybody: if you like the equipment that you see here that I use, please go ahead and click the links in the description. We'll take you to it. Don't necessarily have to buy it. Just take a look at it. You can find it elsewhere cheaper. That's entirely up to you. Um, the full list of my complete loadout will be in the description also. And uh, I think we're going to call it. And uh, we'll see you all tomorrow. In the morning for coffee. 0500. Now I'm going to sleep in. We're going to do 0530. <laughs> you all have a good night now. Be safe. Well, good morning, everybody. Um, my alarm went off at 0530 this morning, and I was sleeping so nicely, I shut the alarm off and just kept right on sleeping. When the sun came up, and it's up now, right now it's about 9 a.m., uh, instead of recording everything, I just in sat back and just enjoyed the woods, the peace. It's not everything has to be on video. going to uh, break camp here right directly and head back to the house. I'm not working today, obviously. And uh, I appreciate y'all watching. Until next time, go to the woods, enjoy yourselves. The woods are there. They're everybody's woods. They belong to us. Keep them clean. Use your resources. But most of all, have fun. Till next time, be safe. Thank you for watching Restless Moon Outdoors and Adventures. We hope to see you again.